Okay, I'm Geodab. This video, what I'm going to show you is not going to be a great deal of difference for a lot of people. But you might notice here it's a little bit jerky, probably because I'm recording. But when you start playing with it, some of the big scenes, you might notice a difference. Now, to aid you, if you're on a, one of the lower spec machines like what I am, what might actually help is turning off some of the visual effects that you have in the editor whilst messing about. Now you don't see a great deal on this because there's not a lot on it. But just to show you, he says just to show you, clicks on show. Now if you go down to here to post process, now when you're building your maps, and you're messing about in the editor, do you really need all this on? Uh, the answer probably is no, not really. So to aid you to move around the editor a little bit fa faster, you can turn these off here. I mean, do I want bloom? No. Do I want camera imperfections? No. Depth field, eye adaption, eh, leave them for the moment. HDM distortion, haven't got a clue what that is. Lens flares, I never did like anyway. Motion blur, post process, and what all these do, I'm sure you'll find it in the docs. But by switching things off, you might actually might make it a little bit easier for you to move around in the editor. Okay, now you might find other things in there that you're actually interested in. Yeah. Do you want ambient occlusion and all this stuff on? Uh, you, you might want to switch all that off and all that. And you might want to visit, try things like that. So it's all bits and pieces which might help you along the way. So you just use, click on show, go to whatever you want, switch them off and in the end, if you want to reset it all, you can click on use defaults. And hopefully that's gone back. Yeah, it has gone back to the where it was. OK, so we'll leave it at that and have fun. Stop.